Just like the lecture, when you're done with your skills practice, you can hit the X on the tab, close out, and it will take you back to the main course. The last item within each lesson will be a knowledge test. The knowledge test questions come directly from the lecture. Make sure that you're reading the slideshow and watching the lecture video. Um, all of the answers can be found between the two. When you take the quiz, the, the quiz has no time limit. So you can start the quiz, like this is lesson one. We can start the quiz, and now you can open up the lecture and you can start participating in the lecture. The questions should be answered in the order that you see them in the lecture, but I don't want to guarantee that because there might be a time here or there where it's not exactly in the right order. But we tried our best to make sure that all the questions that we've come up with are in the order that you will find them in the slideshow and or the lecture. It's not time, so you can just answer the questions as you come across them. So you can read the first question and see, okay, what is another name for the basic element of an image in Photoshop? And then you can start watching the lecture, and when you come across that answer, you can answer it. The correct answer is pixel. And then you can move on to the next question. And the next question is, which color mode does your computer monitor use? And then you can continue watching the lecture, and when you come across that answer, you can answer it. You get two tries on every knowledge test. So if you take it the first time and you don't get 100%, you can go back and you can look up the answers to the questions that you may have missed. That is the goal of these. The goal is not to watch the lecture and memorize the answers and take it in one shot and have like tons of pressure as you're taking the test. You can take as long as you need to take it and then if you get one or two questions wrong, you can always retake the test. Make sure you write down the answers to the correct questions so you don't have to redo those questions. Now you'll be tested on these same questions again for your module exam. They might not be worded exactly the same way, they might not be phrased, or they might not be asking the same question, but they're all covering the same topics. And so you should study your knowledge test before you take the end of semester or end of module exams.